chat. I'm not going to lie. First of all, nigga, I had a whole different schedule on what I was going to do today. I had a whole different schedule. I had a whole eight hour to 10 hour stream I had planned. <sighs> First off, did it, did somebody pull up to his truck and knocked on his truck and then came inside and like asked for a photo? Oh, yeah, that's a crazy I'm pause just, on the screen. Take, bro. That's a crazy pause on the screen. I ain't gonna lie, that look nasty. So hurry up and open up your eyes, gang. I ain't gonna lie, that pause was nuts. All right, cool. Pause was kind of nuts. I ain't gonna, it was kind of nasty, son. Hey, yo. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of nasty, okay? Uh, and then dude posted exactly where he was at, too. I thought that was kind of crazy. You all hilarious? Yeah, my bad, yo. Dudes is homeless, still streaming, yo. You see, there's no fucking excuse, chat. They're crazy, gang. My bad for that pause, yo. I had a whole, um... I feel bad, bro. I had a whole um stream I had planned and then happening. And I gotta address it now. I hate doing these shits, bro. What up, Wangster? Just like Listen, okay? All right, listen, bro. Let's, I'm addressing this as if I would address anybody else. I'm keeping the same energy for any dumb I see happen around me. This is so dumb. Because it's like... What up, A-Dog? those who don't know... What's good, King Black? Yeah, you can tell he wanted to cry. Chris, that helped me with Mad at My Streams. Mad at My Tech. Mad at My... Sh Apparently, um... It's not even apparent. It's here clear as day. In 2021, he just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old. And it's just annoying when it happened. And shit come up every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come relax, bro. I feel bad. So I'm crying and got hit with ads and left. Oh, sh you got him. <laughs> yeah, I got the worst motherfuckers watching me, bro. You said I tuned in for a few minutes. I saw him crying and then got hit with ads and left. Yo, all right, yo. So, um, my thing is. <laughs> Now I feel bad though because if y'all don't know, uh, his cameraman was the guy who was like he's been there from the start, man, like from the start. So you already know he like you got to remember that cameraman. One thing people don't realize is like, and, and I wish I could be in that position. Cameraman is the same as like the producer of a song. They don't get enough credit, right? And. You gotta remember these, these the cameramen gotta live with you, bro. Or they got like an apartment next to you. But most of the time, I think they live with you. They got, you gotta support, you gotta pay for they, especially if you one of these streamers. And I'm assuming most of these IRL streamers who have their cameraman, they're with them like all day. Um, No, I don't want you to be my cameraman. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Cause knowing you, you have the camera aiming down like that instead of actually aiming it on me. I'm good. Um. But cameraman gotta be 10 toes, bro. You might see your favorite content creator. That camera still gotta be on the on the guy you working for, man. But just know like you're in those rooms with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they they just they that's the person you're gonna be with the majority of the time, bro. When Kai did that stream and he streamed all throughout Black History Month, and, like you just gotta understand tech wise, camera wise, that guy is there for him all the time. It's just as similar as a as, as well as like the bodyguard who's there all day. So I can only imagine people who do IRL streams for themselves, that's great. And then as soon as they get like a cameraman, that guy's like this with you like glue, bro. That's gonna be your everyday guy. You know what I'm saying? When you, when he removes himself from the AMP house and he flies somewhere else, who's with him? His cameraman. That's like his safety net right there. That's gonna be his guy. So that's a 
fucked up thing. Like, so I can understand why he feels hurt by it. I'm be filming Ricky saying mood. I don't ever say mood. I hate that word. Apparently in 2021, this, this was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. It gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. Right then on the, right then on right at that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. You should have stopped writing right to them. Right at that moment, you're supposed to drop all conversation. You should have stopped talking Anything to that's them. Anything that's below the age of consent, you're not supposed to talk to them. It is not cool. You're not supposed to talk to them. You're not supposed to do anything. You're not supposed to engage in any conf uh, a a any conversation. Not on a different type of like. You're not supposed to just. It's just not right to do. And none of this is is. You can't have no excuse for it. You can't have nothing. You can't have no say so. There's nothing to back it up. There's nothing in a positive way to to do this. When I seen this shit in the internet, I was I just woke up. I seen this shit in the internet. I looked at it. First thing I did was say, hey, let me sit down and let me get down to the bottom of this to completely confirm everything. Yes, he continued to talk to her. Yeah, I got, yo, somebody, can somebody link me him in a whisper? Yeah, he continued to talk to her. Yes, that's the whole point. It, it, I'm gonna be honest with you. If Shorty told him I lied about my age, I'm 17. I, bye, like that's it, you should have stopped. He kept doing, he kept talking to her. He kept talking to her. That's where it got, that's where it's bad. You held it down. Okay. Thing, everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. Um, I reached out to her and shit. And she basically, she, she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed. All right, all that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this because it's like, damn, my nigga, like, 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 just like, like, I don't know how people are not just seeing something or like an age or something and just saying and just stop. I bet, baby. You feel me? It was just some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages. Yo, what up, Rossi? Fucking crazy, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sugarcoating shit. This shit look fucking crazy, bro. And this shit fucked me up the whole day, gang. Like the whole fucking day. Shit fucked me up. Cause like, nigga, what the f Yo, son, this is why I can't fuck with y'all, yo, in the chat. This dude is talking about the situation is somebody types damn 10 ads. Y'all, y'all the worst, yo. Y'all the worst type of people, yo. Fucking sub up then, yo. What's the new price? $5.99? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, motherfucker is is about to cry. Y'all saying ads, bro? Wait, ad, hurry up! Oh my god, six ads is crazy. Y'all need to stop telling us like me and Cell about our ads, because I'm telling you that's fucking Twitch. All right, that's not us. Fucking ad. Yo, they complaining over there too. Imagine they complaining over there. They messages is never go get seen. <laughs> ah, at least got my mods responding to y'all saying, you know, Ricky don't control the ads. They, they, they comment never going to be read. You hear that? You hear me? Ain't never going to be read. At least over here. We read y'all shit facts. That shit crazy. Hit that sub button, brother. Facts. What are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, nigga, I, had a, I have a whole vision. Like, yeah, that's tough. How I want. Uh, I need to stop crying. How I want. Uh, how. I want, Real cool said, I'll be a cameraman. I'm a good recording. He ain't from the US chat. He trying to get that. He trying. He trying to get a. He trying to get the Ray treatment. He ain't from the U.S., bro. He ain't even spell that shit right. He ain't even talk right. I need to stop. Twitch got to pay costs like, somehow. They gonna get these ads. Oh, they definitely paying them. Yeah. 
somebody who helped me start my whole shit. I feel bad, bro. That's tough. I gotta understand too. That makes his brand still look bad. Like any any chance people get, they try to pin it on him. The craziest thing I saw, and here here's the here's the conflicting thing about the situation. I want people to understand. We spoke with Cell about it. Ron, she's here. He can even confirm. At the end of the day, that that shit is wrong. That shit nasty. That shit wrong and nasty. That person, for whatever reason, decided. You know, they waited two years, whatever the situation. But also decided to DM Kai that like it was and here's the thing. I'm not saying it's not his business. This is his brand. That guy is part of his business. Pretty much his boss, essentially, right? Like Kai's the boss in this situation. But I, I just have a problem with the internet with the way things are brought forward. So seeing like she DM'd Kai, I'm like, why don't you just get the police on him? You know what I'm saying? Like, get the police involved. Get the police involved as well if you if you want to really take it there. Or else, what's your motive? You know what I'm saying? Get the police involved. Like, absolutely, that shit is nasty as fuck. Get the police involved. You know what I'm saying? And I, it, it gets a little annoying when people, because people have came to me with screenshots and about certain individuals. And I'm like, yo, don't bring that shit to me. Go to the fucking cops. I'm not the cops. And I'm not going to speak on certain people on my stream. This is this is how I make a living. I'm not here to answer to nobody when shit go down in these Twitch and YouTube spaces. And 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 then I'm looked at as a bad guy if I don't want to address. No, that ain't my job, bro. Go to the cops, bro. Go to the fucking cops. It's almost like you like, you know what I'm saying? So in this situation, absolutely disgusting. Absolutely. Um, And there's no excuse for it. But I seen that she left Kai a big ass essay, and that she also, you know, it's been it was two years later. So I'm just like, people's reasoning behind is what I wish, you know what I'm saying? But you can't always talk about that publicly, because then people kind of think like you're 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 straying away from the fact that he did do this, and you're more focused on this. No, I'm focused on the totality of shit. I want to understand it all. In fact, I want her side of the text messages to be released too, because. She showed her side in the conversations, but then there's a text message log of him and you can see where the bubble extends out and then there's a bubble as if he's replying. And I'm like, it, like he, it, it makes it look crazy. Like as if he's just writing all this shit without any responses. And I'm like, I kind of want to know what she's saying to him because I want to understand the totality of this shit. He done. But if you're also talking to him in those ways too, you're contributing. And it, it, at the end of the day, he has to hold that, man. He he wrong, bro. That shit, yo, mor morally, that shit is wrong, son. That shit wrong as fuck, period. Oh, he ah, done. Let me tee up. Yeah, I caught texting a minor. Oh, my God. I'm trying to chill. I'm sorry, chat. Like, this is why people tell me the live shit, not the best option. But this is the most somebody wrote he's just a cameraman you good real you gonna get me i don't write what he said me don't go live don't like but it's the realest you're gonna get me like <sighs> it's the realest you're gonna be able to get me and be able to like do my shit. and i just this is how honest i feel like i could be with y'all niggas you feel what i'm saying um it's unfortunate what's a text what's a tech what's the moves going forward I know I don't fuck with this shit. I know I don't I don't like any of this shit to be around me. I don't like this shit. I don't condone this shit. This shit is fucked up. It is fucking crazy how randomly like all, all like it's just like even besides this point, it's just like niggas is just doing it's like why does shit just keep popping up on a weekly basis though? Like it's weird, it's fucking weird, bro. Once you see a certain age, you just stop. It is not that hard. You see something, you fucking stop. And you do the right thing. You feel me? So it's like, it is. What's the steps moving forward, bro? I'm not associating myself with him. Um, he's not associated with me. I'm not associated with him. I gotta start doing shit on my own. I have to lock it. I don't want to take no break or nothing because I feel like I have tunnel vision for what I want to do, and I won't. I won't let That's anything tough. like prevent me from like you know doing certain shit and i and i reached out to the person and shit like that and i 
made sure to, to get her shit. She wanted to be anonymous and shit like that. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna figure this shit out. I'm gonna figure all of this shit out, and hopefully, I like do the. Hopefully, I like you know, put the right shit together and shit like that. And it is what it is. You feel me? And it and it's and it's and it's so fucking annoying. And I know how the internet is gonna be like. Chat, y'all don't see me go. Through oh yeah, so they made a diss track on them. What on FOT Mill? Always Mil? like. I don't be doing like chat. I be chilling. I, I generally. Yo, time out. Yo, Tom. We need to start lining niggas up in front of teens. Anybody that get hard, get their brains blown out. Yeah, time them out for that statement, bro. Time them out. <laughs> Yo. I'm only laughing. I'm only laughing because what the fuck ecstasy is going on in your head? What the fuck is wrong with you? You cannot write that, bro. Let's line dudes up. And anybody who gets aroused in front of them, we blow their brains out. No, how about we don't do this shit? Yo, bro, I'm in tears because, yo, this dude is fucking stupid, bro. <laughs> yo, man. Oh my God, man, I got Sammy in here, man. You gonna think Sammy think like I'm tripping. Sammy, don't think I'll be wrong, bro. This dude fucking tripping, yo. You know, Thomas fucking ass out, man. Fat Fox Jr., man, he worse than Fat Fox. Fat Fox would never say that. Time out a little longer, bro. That statement was crazy. It, it, <laughs> yo, man. You could tell <laughs> ecstasy talk from like, like he's talking from a place that's like if you with your, with your homies and shit like that, y'all having like a discussion back at the crib and shit about life. Can't <laughs> say that in a Twitch chat, bro. All right, so we see we see what's going on here. Asbury, think about a fifty stream streak, man. DJ Chris, think about a uh, three stream streak, gang. All right, so this is what it is, right? Um, let me see. Twisted, you said my chat is weird. You're part of my chat. You're weird. Twisted, you are, you're the weirdest one in my chat. You're, you're like five shades away from going to jail. Twisted, that's you. Twisted's like five shades away from being in prison. I ain't gonna lie, that, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Now he has to hire a certain cameraman. Yeah, then nah, I ain't gonna lie, he does. Now, all right, in this segment right here, please do not say nothing crazy, please. Again. I'll be the one to say shit. If I see something funky, I'll be the one to say it, but I don't want y'all saying nothing that, that could get me in trouble. MP cameraman Chris V is currently being called out for allegedly being inappropriate with a minor 17 years old. Um, yeah, I can't, I ain't gonna lie. I don't even want to put these messages on screen. I ain't gonna lie. They're a little bit too extra. It just know that it was just know that it, it was like very explicit. I think he even said pics. I don't know. Yeah. But here's the conversation I wanted to have with y'all. It's, it's a crazy world that we live in now. Um, it's a crazy world that we live in because let me ask y'all a question. Now I'm gonna ask y'all a question. See, when I was in high school, all the girls that was freshmen, and, and, and this is a safe space. Don't feel weird about it. I want y'all to genuinely answer from the heart, like how y'all feel. Like, don't be on some pussy shit. Like, you, you, you gotta wait for 18 people to raise their hands before you raise your fucking hand. You feel me? Um, when I was in high school, <clears throat> all my homegirls that was freshmen was dating seniors, right? And in my brain at that time, for me, that, that's not wrong. You're in high school, that's, the, that's that community. You, you're gonna be there for four years, essentially, right? Where it looks weird now to me, well, it's, it's, it's not that it never did before, but the world has like, like exceptions to weird shit. You feel me? And the one thing that confuses me now, and this is why I always stood with women my age or older. Again, I always stood with women my age or older. Now that I'm 32, um, again, same thing. I don't even like, like 21 year old chicks or 22. I don't, that's not my bag. I, I don't like that shit. I feel like they, they just annoying as shit. I don't know why I feel like they, uh, they watch like Jinxie and shit. Mm. <clears throat> and I fuck with Jinxie's content. I just feel like 
if I meet a 22 year old, 23 year old, she's going to be like, oh my God, you're a D1 crash out. And I'm going to be like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't want to deal with that shit. I don't want to deal with that shit. Um, <clears throat> you know, prior, right? So here's my thing. Do y'all think that's wrong? A freshman dating a senior? Um, and I'm asking you as a real, real ass question. I thought that was weird for freshmen to date seniors when I first saw it. Oh, T-Mac, it was frustrating for me because I was jealous. I'm over here a freshman, and, and me, I'm pussy. I can't get with no chicks. And I'm like, damn, they're all getting with, with, uh, with, with the older guys, even guys outside of high school. Shit was crazy. But back in high school, just letting y'all know, back in high school, freshmen, like nobody was looking at that as wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody saw that as wrong. And I was like, wow, that's crazy. Now the world that we live in, I'm looking at it even worse. Cause I'm like, damn, if they graduate and that male or female is like a sophomore junior, that person now two years out of high school. That looks like crazy. The school system got you locked in, in this cage for four years with individuals that are around your age pool or at least three years or whatever. So you assume it was okay. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's growing up. You feel what I'm saying? Just look at a freshman. They're like, they're still small. That's what I'm saying. I was 14. I was 14 when I got to high school. You feel me now? Got a real ass question again. Back in high school, it was normal, but now I'm older. I wouldn't agree with it. That's what I'm saying. Back in high school, I thought it was normal too. I was just never interested in me. I always liked older chicks. Like I had a chick my age when I was 14, 15, she was 14, 15, my age. After that, I dated, I think in 10th grade, the ending of 10th grade, I dated a college chick. So I guess that's on her. That ain't on me. Well, she was in high school and she graduated and then went to college. So she was a senior while I was, uh, while I, while I was about to be a junior, she had graduated and then I became a junior and we ended up dating for like three years and shit like that. So essentially two years after I was like a, you know, I just had graduated myself. It was weird the way it happened, but I never dated nobody young. I know ne that's never been me. I never liked it. Ne didn't like, I don't fuck with that shit. In fact, I pride myself on being the older kid. So I always felt like I wanted to be with the adults. I don't know why growing up, I always wanted to be with like the adults. So I wanted to be around only that. And I, and that's the problem. And at, at first I thought it was an issue because all my friends at the time was like, yo, Rick, you never want to chill with us. Well, I was always chilling with my brother and their older friends or my, my aunts and uncles and them. And honestly, I started drinking young. I was drinking at like 16, 17. So I'm drinking with them. I'm with older people. Um, <clears throat> so my mind never set me back. What up Jamal? Um, in my school though. Yeah. I had a, I had a 20 year old, uh, senior and you see, that's what I'm saying. Shit kind of funky. But, and what up, Daryl? But here's now, here's another question. When you're in college, are, do you see in college is different or is it? Do you guys look at people for how many years they've been in college or in college, you feel like that's a different place and you're willing to uh, date? Cause in high school, you could clearly see this freshmen, uh, sophomores, juniors, seniors, and the age gap is crazy. But you see in college, let me tell you where it gets scary. Cause when I went to college, it was, <clears throat> I took a year off from high after high school. So I went to college when I was 19, like 18, 19, like 19 ish. Right. It was girls and guys entering college at 17. So I'm thinking in my head now, People in college got to worry too, because you got people that are 17 in college and there's people that are 25 in college because college don't got to age. You could go to college at fucking 80. So <clears throat> we live in a place now. Is it, is it age specific? Is it, or is it <clears throat> the grounds of where you go, or what you do in life or like what school you go to? It's just fucking nuts because when you're in college, you're probably not thinking, damn, how old is she? You're probably wondering, damn, is she single or not? Because in college, logically, you're thinking everybody's heading to their adult phase. Whereas in high school, I'm talking about now though, because when I was <clears throat> back in college, again, I was already dating somebody uh, my age or older. But 
now in college, the way the world works now, you got to be careful. That shit is crazy. <clears throat> Always thought it was weird. They fuck with each other heavy. <clears throat> shit nuts, man. You can go to college like right after middle school. Oh, that's fucking crazy. I have no school friend for that reason. Niggas want to be street so bad. It's a little different in college because there are adults technically. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There are 17 year olds in college. What about a 30 year old in college? You know what I'm saying? It's a little different because them still not 19. That's what I'm saying. Like, got to be careful. Um, in college, yeah, yo, what up, Icy? They underage still. Like, it's still. So that's what I'm saying. It's just, it's a wonky thing. Let me tell y'all something too. This is another crazy question. 18 years old, right? They say is the age of consent. So, and I'm not talking to the 21 year olds or, well, I am actually, but not the older, older guys. Cause I'm pretty sure y'all probably don't fuck with that shit. But let me just be honest. If somebody just turned 18 to me, that's still not cool. That's still not okay. You were just 17. Like, that's why I always look at it. Like when people be like, <clears throat> when people look at like the tiger situation or just any of those scenarios, you turning 18 is just, it's still weird to me. It's still weird because my nigga, your body, you turn 18, your body don't fucking morph into like an adult body. Like, no, you're, you're still growing in 18. You was just, you were just there. You was just 17. Now you're 18. Like, that's what I'm saying. So people just gotta be careful, man. Y'all gotta be careful. Y'all shouldn't be. And if anybody here is at like 20 years old, 21, and, and a girl tells you that she's 18, you still should think twice and, and morally tell yourself that girl's still 17, man. That girl's still 17, man. Come on, man. And I only say this shit because y'all need to protect yourselves. More people going to get exposed. I'm just being honest. More people going to get exposed, man. This ain't the end of it. This is not the end of it. <clears throat> this is not the end of it. You're going to see more people get, get called out. It's, a, it's sad, man. I remember there was a time people got called out for being pieces of shit. Oh, he mistreated me. Or people got fucking called out for uh, stealing artwork and doing other weird shit, <clears throat> scamming. Oh, got called out for being deadbeat. I'd rather hear about people getting called out for being deadbeat dads. Now I'm exhausted. Hearing too much shit about people being pedals. I'm telling you right now, the whole 2000s era need to be a reset. 2010s need a reset. Cause this ain't the end, yo. I'm exhausted, bro. Oh yeah, it still happens, but nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear about the deadbeat. Everybody want to know who the next pedo. Like, nobody cares about that deadbeat shit. That shit dies out quick. That shit, that shit deader than the deadbeat. I'm telling you that 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 conversation piece don't last long. The artist part, yeah, but <clears throat> I feel bad, man, because I ain't gonna lie. If YouTube was around during my like during my time in freshman year, it would be cooked. Cause all these dudes that was doing this shit, like, nah. Even though I was too pussy to like talk to girls and shit like that, I had my relationship, but like I was too attached because I didn't want to ever feel like I would have to search for another, like another woman in my life at that time. Cause I was too shy type shit. But when I was single, <clears throat> just because I was pussy, doesn't mean that I didn't think it was still kind of weird. I just never liked like chicks at, at, like younger than me or like, uh, like underage. So even though, cause again, the, the fucked up part about Chris is this. Let me tell you something. This is this is what I think and what's fucked up. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the internet is now teaching people how to become appropriate, right? For whatever sad ass case. And I think Chris was 19 or I think he was 19 or 20 years old. I think he was like 20 years old, I think, when this happened. She was 17, lied that she was 19. So she, he was 20 and he thought she was 19. But then she said she was 17, so it's a three year gap. And you would think, oh, okay, but then again, she's 17. So that's a that's it. You should have cut that off. What's fucked up is that during the time that that happened, again, not a lot of people are educated to where they come from. And probably, who knows? I'm not trying to give him no benefit, but I do want to say something. Sometimes we laugh at people for committing stupid shit at the age of 20. But I, then you often got to look at it like, man, look at where this motherfucker was raised, gang. He ain't no no better, man. So in this sense, I feel bad because the, the kid probably grew up after he stopped talking to Shorty. 
he probably grew past that and started talking to the older chicks now because he's associated with Kai and now his life changed and he probably sees the right from wrong. But guess what? The internet don't care about that. The internet don't give a fuck that he been past that situation. They never went far like to do anything. And he's he his life only consisted of talking to like women his age now and possibly older because his life is different. And he learned that this shit is not appropriate because let me tell you one thing that I know for a fact. <clears throat> I never had nobody in my friend group that did anything like that. But anytime some we had like a knucklehead in the group that might have robbed somebody or might have done something stupid, even hit their girl. We never ran to the Internet. We'll fucking tell you like, yo, you need to fix this shit or get the fuck out. And I and I feel like the world that we live in, that's gone. And I'm not saying that for his point. I'm saying that like with just the consequences with the internet, you're done. So, you know what I'm saying? Like you're done. Like you're done. You don't have room for that. Plus, again, you could have been okay if you would have stopped talking to Shorty. But because you kept talking and then you started saying crazy shit, you don't get that fair shot of, oh, all right, but now you learn from it. You're older now and you're not doing. No, you said some crazy shit after she told you her age. And was and it looked like you sent her pics or video. You said some crazy shit after, bro. I said, you're done. And the damage is done. But again, anytime, like, you know, <clears throat> the world we live in now, I don't know what it is, y'all. Y'all, I'm not saying when I say y'all too, by the way, I don't mean like y'all specifically, but when I say y'all, I'm generalizing it. Y'all need to like, just calm yourselves a little bit. And this gonna sound like some hater shit. I wonder what made her come out. I swear to Ronchi, chef's kiss. We had conversations yesterday, which is between cell, but I'm genuinely sitting here wondering what made her want to come out now. You know, like what happened? And you know, I pay, I pay very, I pay a lot of, I pay attention to a lot of attention to detail type shit. Right. And I heard she deleted everything on her end. I heard she deleted all the screenshots on her uploads, whatever. When you expose somebody and then you delete all those things, is it because you was looking for the reaction and you didn't realize how massive it was going to get. And now you're afraid. Like what? Like I'm always looking at what are people's motives? And it's mad weird how quick motherfuckers rant and run the cop. Yes, and that was another problem too. Again, if this really affected you, and my, my biggest issue, and again, it's like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. He is cooked. I want people to know that he is cooked. What up, Antoine? He's cooked. He's done. He's wrong. In my eyes, Ronchi's eyes, everybody's eyes. He's wrong. He's done. But now let's move over to something else. Y'all don't find it weird that she brought it to the internet? The internet is not the police station. If you feel uncomfortable and you feel like exposing this, we have the number 911. I think we became desensitized or we be, we're, we're too deep into internet politics to where we feel like, but because nothing illegal is happening. And, and, and so to your question, I wonder why she decided it. She made it a moral battle. Exactly. And, and the big question that you just asked, I wonder what made her come out now. Internet gonna move quicker than the, the internet gonna move super quick. They found out Chris, Chris Tyson, 50 Tyson, Ava Tyson, Chris Tyson. They found out Chris Tyson was, was, uh, they found his sister and his sister then confirms that, um, fuck, fuck, fucking brain farting that, that he was like getting aroused by her clothes. They better keep that same energy for brother too. That's fucking nuts. That's nuts. You know, all like Pokemon and Valkyrie, like I fuck with Valkyrie, but man, they were quiet on that situation. Now what? Is there ever a link in person? Um, to, to the knowledge that we have now, oh, you talk about Chris? No, I, to the knowledge that we have now, that girl and Chris, no, we never seen it, no. They didn't come out with no details saying that they linked their person. Cause now if they linked in person, there's a bigger argument to be had that yo shorty, like you, you still, you still proceeded on with it and you're, you're still wrong, dude. Like I ain't gonna lie, jail time. I ain't gonna lie. You're, you're nasty. My nags. Like the fact that you were even willing to meet up like jail time. Like I keep that shit 100 jail time, dude. 
you, you're still fucking wrong. You're done. You're cooked. Because in your head, you're thinking this shit is okay. And to some degree, you know, the suckiest shit ever is if you're talking to somebody and they're lying to you about their age. Yo, crummy, they even follow. It would suck if you're talking to somebody and you start feeling them crazy and then they lie to you about their age. But to be honest with you, that would make that would break everything. If if you lie about your age and you came out and said you was this age, oh, you're done. Like I would have just blocked you. Like it would have been cooked. You know what I'm saying? You said you didn't see what? Yo, bro, in one of the images, it, it had um a square with the, you know what, like the play button logo, like the play button symbol, like the press play. And I'm like, oh shit, yeah, gang, yeah, I, yeah. But one of them, you could tell one of them was a vid. It had a play button symbol on it, bro. Because, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, Ronch, yeah. There was also other shit, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What Pixie said? The police don't even do much against restraining orders. So even if she got that, they never met the police and not arrest them. Is because they talk that is true um but the internet is not a police it's not the police either that's the but that's the problem the big thing is i don't feel like she did wrong i think like the right thing to do was to get this motherfucker out the paint the right thing to do was getting him out the paint period because again i don't condone none of that shit. uh the right thing to do was to get him out the paint um it's just one of those situations that's it's just, it's one of those situations where you got to look at the guy and be like, bro, what the fuck were you doing? You're done. You're done. Can we address another issue about young girls lying about their age, but then playing victim when they attract weirdos? <sighs> you know, what's so crazy to me. Wow, gifted. Yo, current. Thank you so much. Damn. Oh, thank you for five gifted game. God damn. That shit blew my eardrum. Yo, thank you for the five gifted gang. I appreciate you. Thank you. God bless, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, uh, and I appreciate you. I hope you're doing well, my brother. Thank you so much. Um, Pick, so here's the crazy thing. At one point, you know what it is? It's, culture, it's, it's some culture shit. Me growing up, I, all I ever heard was my homegirls lying about their age. So I thought that was normal too. But now that we're here, I'm going to tell you right now, I agree. That's some weird shit too. And not being held accountable. But damn, I'm gonna be honest. He should have been 10 toes after she didn't said her official age. That's fucked up. That's why like, and again, I feel like again, people can't have an opinion on the totality. They want people to just address. Like if you say, if I address Chris and then I move over to now talking about her, they're gonna think like I'm forgetting that about him. And it's like, no, let's talk about everybody. Um. And the thing is, he's done. He's cooked. No, no, uh, the the cameraman, not the not AMP Chris, not the official, not the not their actual team member. It was the cameraman. It is. That's what I said. I grew up uh, in culture, young girls, older men. Yeah, it's same. That's what I'm saying. It's same. Like that's what I grew up seeing. And so, it, it it's one of those scenarios, man. I'm telling you, this is one of those situations. In this case. Bro, he had that. He had to get out of jail free card. And that was once she admitted it, her age, he should have been like, whoa, I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate you telling me your real age. Uh, hey, you want to be friends? Not you want to be friends, but like on some friendly shit to, to leave the conversation alone. Yo, we could be cool, man. My bad. That's I don't I don't rock like that. I don't rock like that. But then, you know, the proceeding of the conversation was, whoa, OK, appreciate you. You know, whatever. You know, it's good vibes, though. But you know, if you were though, I would be fucking with you. Oh yeah, but you know, like, you know, I am fucking with it. And it's like, wow, you did that. But also now, since you made that good point, I'm also add, she should have stopped talking to him too and realized what he kept pushing on because you could tell they're not showing the other messages when he keeps writing like weird shit. And I'm just like, what the fuck going on? It's just ugly, man. That shit messy, it's ugly, it's nasty. It's messy, ugly, and nasty. A lot of people who are live looking at it, they're saying that the screenshot. All right, so I'm going to describe it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to describe it like this, Runch. It was weird. The screenshot, like, you know how you, you know, on Snap, you could tell that it's like a, a vid or like a pic, right? 
a couple of them had a play the like the press play like this little logo button like this little shit right here it had this right here on it um not only that it looked like legs like it looked like 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 as if you can't see much and so if you were to press the video you would probably see an action being done i don't use snap either i don't use snap um yeah well and and in the screenshots he's he's also relaying messages that would indicate a description of what's going on in the in the in the pic or video it was a snapchat picture all i know is he was snapping his you know his thing on there that was nasty um i'm sorry about the ads man uh yeah that one sucks that one sucks now again can we agree we all know he's cooked he's done I don't feel bad for him. You're done. I don't feel bad. I want to know if you come out and expose this two years later. Okay, bet, bet, bet. All right, picks. If you come out two years later and expose this information, like Roncho, you said, like, I wonder what made her want to come out. My thing is too, and, and even to your point, Pixie, when you was like, let's talk about how these girls be lying about their age, you know, this other stuff. I, I just have curiosity syndrome. I want to know what were you, did you also continue to talk to him in certain ways? Because again, you could see the conversation, the way it's looking as if like he's responding to her too. And so I'm curious, were you also taking part in responding to him? And if so, why those messages aren't out? You know what I'm saying? Because if you continue to talk to him after you expose your age to him, you should have been, or you should have reported him then too. It's just... He said, we have proof that the text messages were after she explained her age. Yeah, Kai said it in the in the video. Not this video, in his in his actual stream. She she confirmed. He confirmed everything. Yo, it, it, everything looks funky to me on the internet. Everything, yo, everything looks funky to me on the internet. But he yeah, he confirmed it on his stream. It, everything is funky, dog. Everything is funky, bruh. I'm telling you, held down that little 20 minute shit life for real. Yo, but yo, Ronchi, can you please tell him to stop, man? I'm at Popeye's, what chat want? I just want you to relax, man. Please. You said that is true. They both wrong, definitely. Act like adults until it's time to be one. That's a motherfucking fact. Nah, that's a motherfucking fact. Moogie, thank you for the 15 months. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm chilling. We chilling today. Uh, um, yeah, again, he, he, he got to eat that. But the, but the issue that I have, and again, I hate having to talk about this because I never want that shit to seem like we just want women out the paint. No, 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 no. It could have been two dudes. It could have been two gay dudes. And the idea is that we're trying to talk in totality. It's like, she good money. She could do this shit again to somebody else. She, we don't know how many people she's done it to. We don't know if her friends influenced her to put these messages out two years later. Look how famous this guy is. Look, I mean, well, Kai is. And look how big things became. We don't know if perhaps she was looking to talk to Chris now. Maybe he's fucking on some some other shorties that are older and out of spite. Like, we don't know what's the, we, we, we don't know. Just like how dudes back in the days, and probably now, I don't know anybody who does it, but dudes back in the days used to like send other people, like other homies, like some shorties nudes and shit like that. Like, I remember there was a time dudes was weird like that. Dudes was sending their homies like 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 a shorty that they were fucking with nudes. You feel me? Like there's just so much shit like as to like like that I'm curious about. This, yeah, that was 2021. Yeah. James Charles, it's insane how James Charles is still around. I swear to God it is. I ain't gonna fuck with him, man. I ain't gonna lie. That motherfucker got it. What up, Shay? How you doing? Two years later, it's just, it's just confusing me. And her first DM to Kai, that's what, excuse me, that's what she explained her reason for coming to him. But Kai didn't read it or get to it. Somehow it ended up being ignored and that's when she went public. Yeah, I saw what Doc tweeted. He said, she seemed naive from the beginning. You let your friends get you into the situation because, oh yeah, she, yeah, she said, um, 
Her friends told her to lie about the age. Oh yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I forgot about that, yes. Let me see this. Yo, yo, Runch. Why did I think, <laughs> I thought you was trolling me, bro. I thought you was <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna watch this. Let me see this. Hold on. All oh, right. Uh, he didn't. He doesn't say nothing crazy, right? Like he doesn't say no sir slur, no sneak. he'll say a slur and then tell you how his religion uh, allows it. It's just some crazy shit. Yeah. He says Sneagle speaks on the Kai, uh, Kai crying after finding out his cameraman, whatever. Let's be real, Kai did not fire him because he was messing in line. He fired him because of public pr pressure. Just how it is for mainstream influencers. Well, my thing is like, why the fuck he give a shit? Not crying because uh, his cameraman Chris was messaging a 17 year old who lied. She said she was 19 and then it turns out she was 17. I don't even think there's proof that he kept on messaging her, but Kai Sinat had to cry on camera and disavow him. One of his day ones, I even knew Chris Media. When I was on AMP, when I was uh, filming videos with AMP back in the day, I knew Chris for a long time. I thought he was a cool guy, but the girl lied, she's 19, she pretended to be 19, she's 17. And let's be real, Kai Sinat did not fire him because he was messaging a lying 17 year old. He fired her because of the public pressure. This is how it is for mainstream influencers. The brand deals supersede friendship, even with the day one. That's why he was crying, he was upset. The, the tears weren't fake, he's upset that he's so in deep with his career that he needs to cut off one of his best friends, someone who was there before all the money and success because of public pressure. If he was never caught, do you think he would have been cut off? Absolutely not. If he was never caught, ain't there a chance that maybe Kai didn't fucking know? Um, my thoughts on this? I'm gonna tell you the truth. My thoughts on this. I say this and I say this again. If God forbid any situation happened with my circle and any of them came out and something happened in the past that they did something. Um, if you sexually assaulted somebody, you're fucking done. If you did anything with kids, you're fucking done. If you got caught texting a 17 year old and this was a few years ago, I just keep my distance from you. And I probably wouldn't even like really fuck with you because we've had situations in my life where we knew guys who who endured in certain shit, endorsed in shit, and I just wasn't fucking with them. But to this point here, um, he's saying shit that we probably all kind of know. Like to be like, let me just tell you something. I knew I was like, I like, huh, how do I say this? Because I, I want to say like five different things. I don't think he's wrong, but at the same time, he's dismissing the fact that him, like, cause he's saying how he's crying and all this other shit. And Sneeko has a way now he's start, he's starting to put this idea that people who are on YouTube or Twitch and all these mainstreamers, whatever, they're going about things a certain way just so that they don't get canceled. Like, you know, he's putting all that shit. He's not wrong to a certain extent, but he's also dismissing the fact that the motherfucker really might have, might love this nigga Chris a lot. Like Chris has been there for him like a lot, probably been there through crazy as shit. And so him crying probably like bothers him. Plus Kai was kind of crying as well. Not only for that, but because of the fact that he's probably exhausted by all this shit that he's been tied to every time shit happens. Um, and, and that's pretty normal. But would I say that there's no way that he, that there's no possible way he could have fired him without the idea because of public pressure? Yes. You think Robert Bowling and Midnight Society wanted to get rid of Doc? No, they have to. Anytime somebody do some crazy shit, you gotta release them. As much as I might love you to death, bro. I got family members that killed people. I love you to death, gang. You just cannot come over my house because you might kill me too. Like, what the fuck is we talking about? I just want to know why everybody always want Kai yeah, because Kai is the main person. If, if somebody that Kai knew that like that shorty, like, like, like shorty from, from the new year's party, it turned out shit is crazy. 
It turned out the shorty lied. And Kai even confirmed it live on his stream. I didn't know that she lied. I don't know how you go to the hospital and, and do a, a certain kit, whatever that shit's called. And it turned out that you ended up lying. And so they wanted Kai to address it and they wanted Kai to be at fault when that had to do with his homeboy. And his homeboy was dealing with so much shit that he ended up going to the police himself and submitted all the videos to the police. Imagine his mental state. The dude went over to the police station and submitted all the proof, even though like recordings and everything of what he did with Shorty and submitted to the police. And it proved that she was actually lying. like all this shit that goes on. Like they always seem to want to go to Kai to answer because Kai is the popular person. Kai's the famous one. They did. They do it a lot, man. They do it a lot to people. They want certain people to answer for it because they just, you know what? I don't know how to say it, man. That like, that's my problem. Like, and I always say it's like the miserable people of the world that we live in. Like when you see the good and you see so many people doing good, once one bad thing happened, don't get me wrong. When the Chris Tyson shit happened, how many people was going after uh, Mr. Beast, right? To, 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 to say something. But I will be honest. I just heard Mr. Beast got some other shit going on. So now I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. But it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? And I understand certain points. When the Dr. Disrespect shit happened, Pokimane and Valkyrie, they ran to the internet and was like, "I that shit is wrong. As soon as Chris Tyson did it, I don't know yet. Let's wait until some details come out. Like, so people just want to see what, like, what's really going on. But it ain't nobody fucking business. And it ain't even Kai's problem. Kai gets told by his team, bam, you got to remove you from the business. Point blank period. He probably still love Chris to death. He probably still fuck with Chris on the side. Who gives a shit? Is the problem. Let me read what you said, Ronchi. Yeah, yeah, they dick riding. They know who has the most the most to lose. So they can attack Kai Yo, bro, they, they were doing that shit since we was playing fucking uh um what's that shit called, bro? Uh Warzone. We was playing Warzone when that shit happened. I think it was me, you, and I forgot who else was running with us. And we was talking about that the the, the New Year shit. It's definitely because he's the biggest. Uh, like, why not Phantom uh, Duke? Oh well, bec well, I know, I know for a fact, Phantom got his own little circle with those guys, and God forbid something happens, they gonna attack Phantom on it. Same thing with Duke, they gonna attack Duke on his shit. But they knew Chris was Chris. They knew this in that in that response, they knew that was Chris's cameraman. Like they knew that that was Chris, all him. Like that was him. So. Every time they would relay anything back, they would be like, yo, it was uh like Kai's cameraman, Chris, Kai's cameraman, Chris. He had no, like, no, it could have been Phantom's cameraman, but he ended up being Kai's. So that's probably, that's the reason why. But um, I'll be honest, bro. It's just, uh, it's just a crazy, it's just crazy because again, to what Sneeko was saying, I wouldn't put it past me if, honestly, there's two points play devil's advocate. I wouldn't put it past me if he fired him because of public pressure, public pressure or more. So you're not gonna, I can't afford for you to fuck up my shit. Cause if you ever get caught up, man, nah, bro, I, you're going to fuck up what I got going on. That makes sense. He didn't even have to say that. I don't morally fuck with stuff like this. It could have been a business move. Why the fuck is that a problem? The internet makes it seem like, like it's it's wrong that you might have gotten somebody who does inappropriate shit out of here because it might fuck with your business and then they want you to explain wow but what you, like you only got rid of him because of that well you don't feel bad for the for the people that got to deal with this you don't feel like this is disgusting obviously but those are my emotional takes that you don't have to know those are my emotional takes that's none of your business i'm on here this is my business so we're going to remove them professionally my emotional shit i'm gonna keep that shit to me and my team they know i don't like that shit but the internet runs with it and they harass this dude, um, Kai. And then now he's part of, he's part of the industry, man. He's part of the streamer lifestyle, the industry where you gotta express your emotions, how you feel when you take a shit. Nah, I told Cell, God forbid on everything, anything ever goes on. I don't owe nobody an explanation for shit. I would never tell on anybody. I don't give a fuck if any of my guys do a scam. I don't give a shit. That's not my business. That's not my business to tell people like that's weird. He feels like it's it's a moral issue. So uh, the base problem isn't really solved in a way. Like you really don't care. You only care about your bread. 
and to and to some degree i understand i understand that like the like here's the thing though here here's the crazy thing y'all op thank you for the uh follow here's the crazy thing again the internet is going to make us feel like that because of whatever his response is but if you had a brand or a business most of the time when companies and people get removed from a team or anything like that they issue a statement and deep down they probably hate this motherfucker they probably think this motherfucker is gross and disgusting but every time a statement is released they got to keep it professional they got to keep it a certain way you know how many people thought like companies who might have removed doc and shit like that were just saying it just that they don't get in trouble the internet is going to allude to whatever it is but let it be known maybe i did some shit or you did some shit whoever did some shit um and then all of a sudden you know deep down you're like nah i don't fuck with that shit man like you stole from somebody and i don't morally fuck with that whatever but you might put out there due to disagreements and and to things that that transpired um we had to remove him you know you owe the public that but you don't have to owe the public your genuine emotion towards things the internet has bred that now like it has it has this like this agenda that if you don't show emotion if you don't cry and and, and spit out how disgusted you are that you must not like you must not fuck with it or you must not really have a problem with pedophilia no bitch i do have a problem with pedophilia but damn i got kids who watch me i got a bunch of people who watch me my life is in a certain place now and i don't want to talk specifically about underage girls and pedophilia and i'd rather leave you a professional statement and leave this shit the fuck alone because my life is not in the same boat i don't need to be a, like when we was all doing crash out shit of course but my life is different now and i have to coordinate with that i got people who live off of my name now i pay people and I have no problem with that at all. The problem is we are so stuck in where we at that technically we feel like, and, and that's why I say he's not wrong. He's not right. He's not right. He's not wrong. But he's, he's saying, like you said, he's smart, but he says the obvious shit. Yes, we know he said that shit, but he know we fired him because of public pressure. If he found out that Chris talked to somebody like that, two things would have happened. I don't mean to drag this. Two things would have happened. He would have said like, yo, Chris, probably possibly would have been like, yo, Chris, you can't work with us no more. Cause you're gonna damage my brand. Like you're gonna damage my brand. Ooh, that hurt. You're gonna be like, you're gonna damage my brand. I can't afford that. Or two, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. We need to keep this shit in the tuck or we, we we need to make sure. And and if Kai ever did some shit like that, he'll get in even bigger trouble. Cause then it looked like he supported it. You see what I'm saying? Like, so it, it's a dangerous lane, bro. It's a, it's a, I, I, it's good to have a conversation like this too. Like say when you go live raunchy and you react to all this stuff too, it's great to have these conversations because a lot of people are afraid to have these convos, bro. Mm. It's, it's afraid to have these conversations. We got family members that, you know, we got some, I got some knucklehead family members that done some crazy shit. Oh, I love you to death, but like you can't be around me. Like, you no, know, we grew up together and I've shed tears for you, but you can't be around me. Now, again, if you did something to kids, if you sexually assaulted your wife or, or uh, sexually assaulted your husband if you sexually assaulted your wife or something underage to the to the to the means of like that like you're done you're done oh i've always said that and and you know what picks like if we could live in a world man i just it's so hard bro the stress that we go through like you know trying to like make a name for yourself because that that popularity kind of serves that purpose but man if i could just be wealth that's why i want to learn more about how to invest I don't want to put my life out there and be too famous. Next thing you know, somebody finds tweets when I used to say, Dan, this game is gay. And next thing you know, they trying to make it seem like I'm homophobic, dude. Like, no. Nah, stop. Ill. Uh, like, remember, I told you about that dude who tried to say, uh, who randomly said something about W transphobia to something that I said in my stream, and it had nothing to do with it. We actually timed out a guy for calling Chris Tyson a uh, Decepticon or Transformer. I don't agree with that shit. I'm live, bro. What are you doing talking like that about somebody? We timed them the fuck out. And I said, yo, don't ever type like that about somebody in my chat, bro. Like, don't do some shit like that. You're not going to jeopardize what I got going on. And we timed him out. And he clips what happens before. And I'm like, bitch. And he had to delete his, he deleted his shit because he was definitely wrong. But like, nah, like. Oh, yeah. I think I showed, Ronche, did you, oh, yeah, you seen the, the shit I put in sale? This is fucking crazy. Phantom gonna sue the police and he better sue complex. This is crazy work. He said, even if I was famous and part of a group, some shit like that went down really fucking up, fucking me up one thing. 
Um, I ain't doing this crying on camera. Another thing, give my statement. I, I, I'm conflicted with the crying on camera part, man. Shit, I've cried. I cry like a bitch all the time. So I've cried on camera for multiple things. Thankful, probably stressed out. Again, I ain't gonna lie. I do gotta, you gotta sometimes step away and be like, yeah, we doing too much on the internet by, excuse me, by like crying and shit like that. Like, of course, but we're all so deep into this internet shit when we game, when we do, when we achieve a goal and shit like that. So it just, it's all about a case by case. This shit right here is so fucked up. They like, and, and I know we already talked about this, but real quick, once again, he literally specified Chris, his media, his, his guy, his videographer, and they still got this wrong. And this tells you how people don't do their research. They don't properly do shit. He even wrote Chris V. He even wrote the messages here, Chris V and still got the wrong person, son. Do you understand how much he probably woke up? His mom, his parents probably reached out to him. His friends, his family, you know, the weirdos that's, that don't fucking look at the internet. And so whenever he goes live, they gonna probably think it's him. Fuck that shit. Hell nah.